I am redesigning FPS Analyzer for Mac. Now if you're Mac gaming, you may have heard about it, you may have not. It's a big tool, it's a big app to uh, collect FPS metrics data from your Mac, any Mac, Intel or Apple Silicon and basically dump it on a big database so other users can find it, see how the game runs for, you know, native crossover Windows games or whiskey or whatever. They see how does it run on my Mac or how does it run on a Mac that I want to purchase, right? Uh, and it's very useful, uh, but how? Why? Why am I really signing this? So they started on Discord. I was frustrated that there is no really decent FPS metrics map of, uh, uh, app. Of course, we have the Metal Hut, but I, I want something different. I want to see the temperatures and I want to see more stuff. People pointed me to his app, and I was confused. I was like, this is. Uh, badly designed to be honest and he said you know I'm open for suggestions let's talk in private and we did and by god I've tried to make a FPS app because I, I just want to see the FPS and the temperatures and me and chat GPT we went to work and guys it's embarrassing this is what I came up with I cannot program me for the life of me but luckily this dude is a lot more competent he's a really chill guy and he actually made my, my vision for it work and I actually designed this widget and this is a first early preview at what's coming. Now the FPS is displayed bigger, it looks nicer and what does this have to do with your redesign? Well, this is where it started, so that's why I'm telling you, you will be able to download this later, many other widgets coming. Let's start with the structure of his current app, which is really what it's of what all started is like look at it guys it has uh, the a b c e and probably d and a lot more and it's just a, a big nested hub of all kinds of options but it really boils down to just resolution what's the graphic setting do you use a, a super resolution like dlss or something right but it's it looks a bit confusing in my opinion of course and so i started just experimenting with it i told him like this looks like i'm doing math right can i try redesign it said yeah sure so i started in uh, pixelmator pro which is kind of a photoshop and kind of looks hideous now that i'm looking back back at it but it's also not useful because we're doing it in swift ui so but anyway i wanted to show you you guys this is what i came up with at first but now let's start the real stuff so this is speed up footage of me designing it in uh, figma uh, and i downloaded some um, pre-made uh, asset pack for swift ui right so right now we're just going to make the window like I, I i hope we can make it glossy like glassy and stuff but if not then at least the colors should be uh, somewhat similar right so I, I wanted to go for a big menu on the left because right now there's no menu there's no structure no no idea where you are what you can do and so that's why I'm going for the left uh, side panel here that's supposed to be a menu or it will be later and this is what we have right now this is just a window but yeah this this is this is the window and inside of this window we're gonna put all the content and we are going to go away from these nested menus for as much as we can right I've only redesigned the part of the app so not everything is gonna be in here but anyway we're going to start with the menu now and I, we don't have a menu in the current app right now but especially with the FPS tools coming a menu is needed in my opinion people need to know where do I go to the menu and also because we want to make skins for the FPS tools like some people want big widget bigger than what you saw and they are there believe me and some some people want smaller or some people want this or that or different colors and it should be available but you need to have some sort of a menu that's always available always visible and by the way I did did not add icons but there are supposed to be icons before the text but I could not find decent icons in in time but you get the ID right it's 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 a design it's not gonna be exactly like this like he is actually making uh, restarting the whole app and making it all from scratch based on uh, my designs which is really nice and so here we have the menu done guys like look at this it exists of two uh, chapters as I say the game recording part which is uh, recording for the FPS database right the collection of the um, data and of course the game performance tool which I showed earlier it's gonna show you the live FPS and so now we're gonna fill in the the content of the home page right the first page the my games page which is going to exist of games now previously at the moment it's just little tiny windows and you know tiny blocks and tiny titles and 
you know, I don't know. I think it's it's all about the games. It should be bigger. It should be nice. It should bold, be bold. But that's just my opinion. Again, it's just my opinion. And I wanted to show him like what what my vision is for the app, and it could double as some sort of a launcher in the future if need be. Probably not because we already have a launcher. But you know, it could be some sort of both. Why not? For now, it's just gonna going to be. Um, functional for the gaming recording right so you can find your games and what you recorded and you can find new games in a database and it's just gonna look a little bit nicer and here i'm copying and pasting it and i find out that i need to make the window bigger uh, because uh, you know i'm now doing it on feeling right so we're just gonna add a big window and we're gonna add different games because that looks better and different titles i mean it has to look like something right so you can see the vision but yeah i'm very happy with how this looks already and you know this is just the first page but this is really all it took this is the first page it should be the new home page something like this and so let's look at the total results because i made more and you know i'm not gonna bore you with all building that unless you like it let me know in the comments if you like that stuff but Again, here's the home page. We have the games. Uh, if you hover over it, it should glow a little bit. We have the settings on the left. We've been over this, and but it's a lot simpler. It should be a lot clearer with the sign out button there. There's not too much going on with the logo there that I added here, and perhaps the title of the you know app. And let's go to the next page, right? So if you click on Cyberpunk, you would see something like this, right? So I've made a, a small button here. As it should be like a cork wheel it should be settings settings for recording because right now it's in the app and it's very little use so there's no point in. these are the past recordings like if you recorded a game you can easily find for that specific game here or maybe in, for all games in another tab i'm not sure i'm working on it and these are the settings instead of the nested menus i present as little uh, options as possible unless you toggle the options right so if you toggle the option i'm using different resolution or i'm using using metal fx and the game supports it of course otherwise the options not there then you'll see this now this is of course messy but this is as um, clean as i could get it right the best i could do is just hide it for most situations and of course not nest it because it's not really needed in my opinion so yeah, that's really the difference. It looks clean, but unless you toggle the options, then it's a lot less clean. And perhaps I'll come up with a better design. But let's look at the last page, which is the database. Is the search now? You can search on top again filters, but it's a drop down, right? So by default, it's up and hidden because maybe you don't want filters, and I don't want to bother you with all kinds of bullshit on the page. So if you type in cyberpunk or whatever the database will search and you will find cyberpunk. And that's really pretty much it guys. This this is a guide for him and he will redesign it based on this. It will not look exactly the same but I hope you will like it. Bye bye.